this point, did you ever envisage that you would be in the band? You know, a lot of people seem to think, oh, you know, Tommy was smart. He had this whole idea, this a strategy or something, and that was never the case. Right. Honestly, after I started working with those guys, you know, working for the behind the scenes and doing all the the, the more the managerial you know, production stuff. I was thinking that was going to be more my career, honestly, because, right. you know, you kind of throw the dice once with, you know, you get signed with a band. It's tough to, you know, try to reinvent that, Do that too again. many more times, if any. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I felt that, you know, I, I come from a good business background. My father's been a very successful businessman. And, and uh, you know, so I had a good sense of that. And, and I thought that that's more where I was going, honestly. Right. I never envisioned, oh, I'm going to take that guitar spot someday or something. Right. Wasn't even, you know, my hair was shorter by then because I was right. being a little more professional as far as the you know, <laughs> business side of it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I was just doing that. But just, you know, it's it's strange how, uh, you know, the yeah. things evolved and suddenly, uh, ironically, I was thrust into it. Well, I mean, so when you were asked to suit up, now... Yeah. I guess this story is different depending on who you speak to, but uh, sure. the, the way I've, 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 I've heard it is the limo driver can't find Ace Freely's house. <laughs> you know, and I'm sure this is a very, very nice version of the Well, there's events. a whole bunch of events that went on, actually. Yeah. It, was, it was a kind of a culmination of a lot of things that were going on. I mean, you know, they did the reunion. They, they made a record, which was kind of a half-ass mm. uh, Psycho Circus because it wasn't really a, a, a band together. And it, it really wasn't possible to be right. for whatever reasons. For whatever reasons, That's yeah. a whole other story. But, yeah. And um, so, you know, the attitudes were changing and, and the tension came in worse than ever between right, they, these they guys. They wasn't getting along or whatever. It wasn't yeah, working. Yeah, just, you know, just, just wasn't working. So you know? how did you feel? So at some point... I'm assuming Gene Simmons says, okay, suit up. Well, he did, you know, and then because there was a time where they didn't know if he was going to show up. And you've right. got a huge show on the line with, you know, 15,000, 20,000 people and, and, and uh, big money, you know, yeah, up you to a million dollars on the line kind right. of thing. Uh, and fans that are losing out, traveling and from, you know, doing yeah. all the things, all those dynamics going on. And uh, they decide we're not just going to can start canceling shows because if somebody decides they're going to be unprofessional and not yeah. show up for some reason. So that's where I came into it, that I was I had the ability to get into mm. the outfit if need be, put the guitar on and play that stuff and if was need it, be. Was that a sudden thing or did you kind of see that somebody was going to end up replacing him, regardless whether it was you or whatever? You know, I, th I think that... Or did uh, he just walk in one night and say... No, I think it was just kind of a, an evolution again. I think that I never really thought... I didn't really think that sooner or later I was going to be the guitar no. player and the band was going to carry on for 20 more years. And I didn't really but think it, that. I was only looking at yeah. the immediate future of like, okay, I can help out and, and make this gig happen. Yeah. I'm, I'm more than willing to yeah. jump up there and do we'll it, do if, it yeah. need, if, if it has to happen. It, it seems to me that it was maybe more in their mind maybe. than it was in yours. You'd have to ask. That's the next interview. <laughs> that's what I say. Anyway, so... You're now in the band. Well, no, wait, wait a minute. Okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So the, 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 you know, so what happened was there was a couple close calls where uh, he almost wasn't there, and he got there at the very last right. minute. I was literally in makeup and ready costume, to go. ready to go on stage, and it was a couple calls like that. Then there was a couple of times where we really don't think he's going to show up, and he didn't. Right. And that was when. You know, I was, mm. you know, jumped up there and it was kind of like, okay, let's just do this. It was really, wasn't really much thought to it. It was just, we just got to do this and take care and of business. Just take here. care of business. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of money on the line, like you say. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and you can't let things like that, you know, pull the band into, no. you know, uh, you know, not, uh, you know, not being able to do what they're supposed to do. No, and absolutely. And it's, you know, it comes off, that's bad for a career. We have a responsibility know, to the fans and like exactly. it's a lot, a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of money. Yeah. I, I, I agree. Now, did they tell the, the audience that it was, did well, people yeah. know? I mean, because with the makeup on, I... I well, it, ironic, uh, the, the strange thing was the first gig was kind of the strangest gig of all. It was right. a private gig down in Jamaica for about 100, 150 people. Wow. And it was this rich Russian kid that was turning 30, and they spent millions of dollars putting this thing together, full production stage on a golf course driving range. Wow. And uh, it was just over the top, and uh, it was very surreal because I was thinking... You know, so it wasn't like you know we were going in to play an arena that day. You know, so um, it was just this weird thing. It, it kind of worked because these people were just you know, hey, it's Kiss and here we go. You know, yeah. and and, uh, and then after that, uh, and you still got paid for the show. 
Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> okay, so and then there was a couple. This is in 2002, and so we weren't really. Kiss wasn't touring so much in 2002. We did that gig. We did a few TV shows like right. the Dick Clark uh, 50th anniversary show, which was just a TV appearance playing mm -hmm. one song. So it was a couple things like that, and nothing else really happened for about a year. Then the next really official gig was uh, the Kiss Symphony gig in Australia, in Melbourne. Right. Uh, at uh, the Telstra Dome with the, with the Melbourne Symphony, which was really my first official gig in the right. band. So that was enough time where they, you know, yeah, Tommy's coming in and, you know, so everything's happening yeah. now. So that was the first gig and, and that was recorded and, and uh, filmed for DVDs and all that. So it was a pretty tense uh, situation for me right. coming into that because there was a lot of pressure. Yeah, know? so there wasn't like a, you didn't do, it wasn't like a few warm up gigs in, uh, no. in Europe. <laughs> no. There was, so, there was so, no lube. No, so it, it all just, came on really pretty quick then. And, yeah. it, but, and it was just a natural transition. It was never like, okay, well, we're going to audition guitar players or that kind of thing. It was just kind of like, okay, Tommy, let's do this. Well, so, I guess the, I trust, like, cool. the trust had built up. The friendship was there. They knew he was a good, solid guy. Well, I think that's a big I, part of it, you know, especially yeah, when you get with bands that have been around so long, you know, whether it's if it was the Stones or anybody else, you know, you don't just start auditioning people, you know. It's no. like it, it's not like in a, earlier in a career. It's more about respect and trust and yeah. and, and and knowing the you know, confidence and, 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 and the personality were, yeah. of the person yeah. and, and we can live with this guy, we like being around each other, all this kind of stuff. All those variables become much more important than people yeah. realize. So Well because there's a lot of time off stage. There's more there's way more time sure. off stage than there is on. And at that point in your career you don't want to deal with, you know, you know, some dickhead or trying to figure out what this guy's all about and having it not work because he's, you know, yeah, turns into a jerk or whatever, whatever. you know, so, yeah. you know, there's that whole thing and that's a big part of it, you know, when you're into your career 30, 35 years, so, I think, so. So at this point, you must have been feeling kind of pretty strange thinking, wow, you know, how the hell did I end up well, it was a tough doing thing. this? It was a tough thing because, you know, you're, you're coming in for this guy that was, yeah. you know, a very, very you know, big part of Kiss and, mm. and, uh, and good for guitar players and fans, you know, Ace is a, uh, you know, he's very popular and, yeah. and he's, he's Ace. So that makes it tough too. And to you, know, you respect the guy as well. You, of course, uh, I'm a fan know, of yeah, his as well. Exactly. And, so. uh, you know, so it's, it's the first couple of years were really tough and, and it's got better. And, and, you know, over the course of 10 or 11 years yeah. now, it's, uh, it's been uh, a great ride now, and it, but you know, but it's it's a slow build, and, and you know, even in the last three years now, we've recorded studio records, and that's a big step, you know, as far as me coming in and you know, uh, you know, being more who I am and all yeah. that kind of stuff, rather than when you first come into the band, you know, the thing that pissed some people off is that oh, he's just trying to copy that guy, and it's like that wasn't really the intent. The intent is to come in and be faithful to what well, you're makes Kiss just, so powerful yeah, and great yeah. in the first place, and you're not coming in to to. Uh, reinvent the wheel as yeah. the guitar player but, also. Uh, also, you may be forgiven for thinking that if you actually did play your own solos, you'd get just as much flack for that. Of course, yeah. So you, you, you kind of can't win in that situation. You, you can't, you know, because it, 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 it's a no-win situation no. in a lot of ways. But then there's, you know, honestly, the majority of the fans are, are really great. Right. And they understand what's going on. You know, they, they, they love the band and they come out and they support what we're doing. Yeah. And, you know, they understand what it's, what's going on. Also, and, and so majority of people have just yeah. been fantastic through this whole thing. Also, if you weren't doing it, there might not be a gig to go to. Yeah, exactly. So that's, so that's you're yeah, keeping, so, keeping it going. Yeah, so anyway, you know, no matter how you look at it, people are going to complain about it. Yeah, that's well, just the nature of certain people. That's gonna it's gonna always going to be the, 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 the way it's going to be. But, you know, listen, the band's bigger than ever, so I guess you just have to... I think I, that's kind of proof that you what we're doing is, you know... Yeah, you must be doing something right. It's Kiss. It's the great Kiss show. It's great music. Yeah. It's Kiss. There's a yeah. couple, there's new, couple new people in there, but it's yeah. Kiss, and and, it's, you, and it continues on, and uh, you can't argue with.